Let's take a look at the banana flick. One of the key components of the banana flick is to utilise your wrist fully. You'll see that you're starting with your wrist right up there and finishing with your wrist all the way through to get a really large range of movement with the wrist to generate a lot of spin and speed. So your start position for the stroke is actually with the point of your bat pointing all the way over to your right. And your finish position is with your bat pointing all the way around to the right again. But you've almost moved through a 360 degree circle with your bat. From here to there. The contact point is in front of your body. And you want the contact to be right down near the end of your racket here, because that part of your racket is moving the fastest. To get your racket to point all the way over to the right hand side of the start of the stroke, what you can do is to get your elbow to turn over and point more towards the front. That will also help you to get the racket over the top of the ball to generate the top spin. So now in this position, you're in the ready position to play your banana flick. As you come through the stroke, you'll notice your elbow drops back into a natural position your bat comes through and finishes in that selfie or mirror position, ready to recover for the next ball. By getting your elbow out and then coming in, you're also generating a little bit more of a whipping action. So your bat doesn't move into position early. It starts and stays in the central position, but at the very last second, you're whipping it with your elbow and your wrist. Your footwork for the banana flick is the same as your footwork for a short ball. So that means you're getting your right leg under the table so you can get close to the ball. Now, because you're playing the backhand from your forehand position a lot with the banana flick, it means you also need to move across to line up the ball with your body. So. If I'm here and trying to play the banana flick, it's too wide. I need to move across and close to the table to get good position to play the banana flick. If I'm playing the banana flick from the middle, my right leg moves under the middle of the table. If I'm playing it from my backhand position, my right leg moves under the backhand side of the table. So follow the Bounce of the ball with your right leg. Here, here, or here. Because the banana flick is a backhand stroke, you can turn your grip around to more of a backhand grip. So rather than having it straight in the V between your thumb and your pointer finger, you can turn it a little bit towards your pointer finger. So now you've got a better angle for the backhand and this will help you to get over the top of the ball.